Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Taylor Hazleton and in today's video I'll be going over the differences between glossy and matte covers for Amazon KDP. Before we get started, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. I appreciate all the support so much. I'll also have a link to my Facebook group in the description below along with some other resources in case you're interested in checking those out. And please feel free to look at any of the other videos I have on my channel. Alright, let's get started. So I have two books here that I ordered. These are my own personal books that I created and they, I love them. I just love how they came out. Um, these are some of the beginner books that I created, like I made in the beginning of learning about Amazon KDP and I'm still learning. I'm still fairly new to KDP currently. So this is my very first coloring book and this is a YouTube planner. And my mom actually might have ordered the coloring book for me. Um, we have some friends with children and she is giving away some coloring books to them. So I'll just get started here with the glossy one. So this is a glossy cover for the coloring book that I have and I'll just open it up briefly so you can see what the inside looks like. The cover doesn't really affect the inside. Um, you can go to the Amazon KDP cover calculator to figure out your dimensions but I don't believe that it really has too much of an impact on them but in case you're worried about that feel free to go ahead and double check on that website. You can just Google that um, and it should come up. So Glossy is definitely a lot shinier. It has a pretty good feel, like it's smooth. I really love it to use for children's activity books, coloring books, things like that. I think that it catches their attention. And whenever I go to stores, it seems like the children's coloring and activity books always have glossy covers. I'm not sure exactly why, um, but they just seem to. I think it's also easier to clean up messes on and things like that. So I personally use this for coloring books, especially for children. I probably would do this as well for adults and other ages, but I wouldn't mind trying matte either. So that is when I would use Glossy. I hope you can see how shiny it is in the video. Definitely order some of your own books in case you're interested in seeing this in person for yourself. So next up is matte. So this is a matte YouTube planner cover. Um, I absolutely love this. If you're a YouTuber, I highly recommend getting a planner for yourself to help stay on track. Just open it up to s so you can see part of the inside. This has a really smooth feel to it too, but it's not shiny. Like, it doesn't really reflect at all. Um, I don't think messes would be that difficult to clean up either, but it definitely has a completely different feel or look to it than the glossy one does. I use this for Pretty much everything else. I don't really use glossy a lot right now. Um, I use this for notebooks, like composition notebooks, log books, uh, planners obviously, things like that. So I definitely recommend just figuring out what you like best and what I love about KDP is that you can personalize things yourself and pretty much do whatever specifics you want for your own book. So if you want to use glossy for a notebook then go ahead and use glossy for your notebook and vice versa. It is totally up to you. I personally use matte for basically everything except for activity and coloring books right now. Um, again, just do whatever you feel is best. Order some books for yourself so you can see what they look like in person and really notice the difference better than you can probably tell through a YouTube video. But I know this is something I struggled with when I first started, so I hope this was helpful and gives you an idea on when and how to use these covers. Um, that is totally a personal choice with you, but I hope that at least this is helpful. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, please feel free to comment them below. I absolutely love all of the support. You guys are amazing. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.